Remember previously, when the mystery was whether or not this was actually Anna Londo, then the name popped up? Well, now there's a new mystery. Where the hell did I get this armor from? That cape is in a completely different realm. <laughs> it's... It's in the realm of 15 FPS. That looks oddly cool when the rest of everything is moving normally. The cape is completely erect, and in 15... I don't even... There's no joke I can make about that. I'm just looking at the stupid shit and laughing. I've become Tomato Gaming. <laughs> Wait a minute, I'm- I'm- I'm wearing Lord Trek's armor. Wasn't there something similar with invading a motherfucker's land? With us and him? I hope this doesn't backfire just as much as that did for me. Um? Oh, okay, then yes, this is completely normal. What- so, why am I in a boss room? And this boss is, once again, cosplaying, role-playing, whatever the hell playing, as a cardboard cutout, because he's more of a pushover than one of their. <laughs> Choose your words carefully, because they may just be written on your gravestone. How long does... How long does that last? There aren't that many arrows in the DC universe. Well, I have no Estus, and almost no hope of making it out of this with my sanity. So, you know, just your average Tuesday. Horace, we've done it. We really have. Oh! Horace! <laughs> maybe then, maybe now's a good time to break it to you. I'm afraid that your victory is a, an individual effort in that part, because Horace is fucking dead. So what was my reward for all that, exactly? Well, my ember was restored, so that's nice. I, uh, I have my Estus back, and the purple prism stone went into a green one. But I don't really appear to have benefited from that in any major way. I fought a boss that I'm likely going to have to fight again! What is this, some kind of deep tale about the opposite sex just using you? To repeat myself from like three episodes ago, I'm having GNUN of this. Uh... Oh no, that's just goddamn sad. <laughs> Could someone explain to me? How Andre, the old man who looks like a Haji, can survive, but the big motherfucking giant can't. Even the giant in the courtyard lived, and this cool dude didn't. Bullshit. Well, time to go fight this dude, which I've already beaten. You find the summon sign to fight him for someone else before you fight him on your own terms. That's a little bit confusing. So it's the fact that he's a giant worm that can float and has a skeleton on his body. I just realized his mask. I just realized what the helmet is. I just realized what I'm looking at. That's Gwendolyn, isn't it? That would explain the whole devourer of God's thing. I need to use my mouth less and my eyes more. I'm sorry, this boss is a bitch. You're one of the Lords of Cinder. This pathetic snake worm thing that ate a previous God. The only claim to fame you've got is the corpse you're wearing is a fucking frolly. Bollocks! Look at his health! Look at it! Gotta love the fact that Arnery asked for help from me and then won't return the favour. I'm wearing the armour of favour, so there's even more of a joke to be made of how much of a bitch she is. Ah, <sighs> spawns purple orbs when he spawns, spawns purple orbs when he leaves, spawns purple orbs when he runs, and I just walked into that. That was like seeing a spinning saw blade in the open factory and deciding, you know what, I'm just gonna run my arm right across that and see what happens. I said he was easy three deaths ago. Looks like I'm the devourer of my own words. It just clipped through the wall. It's okay, physics do not apply to a man that eats gods for a living. It's fine. There's gonna be a phase two, and it's gonna murder me, isn't it? Oh, we shall see. Will the weird wormy... No, that's it, he's dead. All right. Awesome. Given his love for eating people, you could say that was kind of bullshit. Hello, Ludlith. You wouldn't happen to have an item for me that I otherwise would never have known about, would you? The brave girl left this as thanks. <gasps> That's such a shock! And here I am, inexplicably going back to an area I've already been. Why would I be here if I wasn't already aware of something that you don't already know yet? Oh! And all of a sudden I've discovered a random mad Arnery of a store with a very, 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 very small flaming weapon. Arnery, I can't help but think that leaving your sword behind, you know, to me, wasn't the best idea if you planned on fighting me. I helped you. You didn't help me fight Aldrich. I killed him for you and this is how you repay me. 
point we could argue you leaving me the sword behind was repaying me. And this is just you going hollow, because goddamn if every motherfucker that you end up loving doesn't do that. Sorry, Henri. I got a thousand souls from that. That's it. That's it. That's all I got for killing her. Why did I kill her? Why? Why did I come back here? Why? I don't like me. I don't like you. <laughs> he fucking killed himself by falling off of that. You've got to be kidding me. Forty! All right, then. I'm gonna fucking level with you. There is shit everywhere after that. <laughs> I am amused by the simplest of things. Wait, hang on, who died? If, if someone died here, I have no hope. Oh, you fucking wanker. The ones that are alive. Don't make those noises! Whose decision was this? I wanna meet the man that thought, you know what Dark Souls needs? Jump scares! I wanna meet the man that thought that was a good idea. I wanna meet him, I wanna meet him, and I wanna tell him it was a great idea because fuck me, it's got me twice. I should have seen that coming! Are you wearing a hat? You look like you're wearing a party hat. Hang on, this, this, this looks like a job for the binoculars. What are you wearing? They all seem to be wearing the masks that the prison wardens, or dungeon wardens, whatever, are wearing. That? Also looks like a small boy. This certainly isn't getting dark. No, no. That's why it's called light-hearted souls. Nothing dark here. Oh, there you are. What the? Are you fucking kidding me with this? What the fuck are these noises? <gasps> okay, what is that? That's a giant disfigured human head on a dog humping a wall. Mm, it's got golem face. It's got golem face. It's got golem face. Friend? No. I hope not. You know, I, I get the feeling if it weren't for your horrible disfigurement and this, this war between us, we'd be able to get to know each other. We'd be able to get along. We could be soulmates. We'd be united. We'd be kindred on a cellular level. It's because he's in a prison cell, and I'm not even remotely funny anymore. Oh, it's walking toward me and it looks weird. Yep. No. No! And it vomits at me. Of course it does. Were you once human? How do you get from something like this to something like that? How? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not giving you an Indian greeting. How? You're gonna scream at me, aren't you? Yeah, I was prepared for that one. From dusk till dawn, I've been expecting that bullshit. Thank you for proving me right. They just went above and beyond to put so many in between, the fucking last one in this one to make you forget about it, or at least think that, oh no, they're done. There it is. I, I respect you for doing it, but I don't like you for doing it. It's also a lot of rats. I have no Estus as well. Mm. Think I know what's gonna be plaguing me for the next couple of minutes. Is it? Holy shit! Pardon me, I was absorbed in thought. I'm being absorbed by rats. You needn't worry. I've just been sitting here weighing my options. And weighing a ton with that armor. My liberation requires a key. You are a smart man. But the key is outside. Hmm. A riddle for the ages. That's not a riddle! It's a... It's a, a, a riddle has a kind of concept you have to determine and uncover and figure out. Your cell door needing a key is not a riddle. That's just you being a bloody prisoner. Fuck me. I'm just glad he didn't say he's in a bit of a pickle again. And here we she. The Metal Gear Solid ladder. As it is. As they say. Bloody massive. And now for the age-old tradition of making Dark Souls look like a cakewalk by just running past everything. <laughs> See what I mean? Absolutely bloody easy. Stretch out, undead bone shot. <laughs> Wait, I was laughing for a moment. Isn't that the ladder man from Dark Souls 2, like Gilligan or something? <laughs> That's fucking sad. You know, it's a shame the emergency services didn't 
uh, exist in dear old Ladderman's time. Because if they did and he wanted to live, he could have just rung him. Get it? It's part of a ladder. Hey, have you heard of a site called G Games Grabber? A site where you can grab games and buy things and follow people like me to see what games they like and what accessories they're using? If you haven't already, then let me tell you. It's what I just said it is. It's your great service, and it's even got a built-in achievement system to just keep on dragging you back in for those silly little numbers. And not only that, but they've been kind enough to let me do a bunch of compositions on this channel, so you, you really should check them out if you haven't already. There's, there's, a, there's a link in the description and a pop-up on the screen telling you to do that too, because I can't make anything clickable because annotations on YouTube are knob. Cheers for your time, babes. Oh, the episode's over. What a shame. You have to come back for more another day when I'm actually continuing this so we get to see what the hell's down the rest of the profane capital, and hopefully we can save Sigurd. And if you did like this, you should... You, well, well, what, 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 what other thing to do other than like the damn video? It's a pretty obvious translation. Let me know that you enjoyed it and you want to see more of it. If you want to see more, you should probably subscribe and maybe click the box in the bottom right, which leads you to more of my stuff, because, I, mean, I don't know, variety is kind. You don't want the same flavour of funny the entire time, do you? And speaking of different flavours of funny, if you want a drastically different flavour coming from a different person, then you should go watch Jadstronic. Wonderful channel that, again, has say it all the time because it's truthful and it's why I recommend them to you. Never made a video I've not enjoyed. It's just charming, funny, upbeat, and again, PG, which is it's, it's be commending. To, you can still be funny without saying stupid words. Because God knows I have to rely on it. Anyway, that aside, if you did all those things you didn't need to, you can go ahead and watch this your video now. Have a good day. Well, remember that good old ring of law tricks I found? Well, apparently, the moment you pick that shit up, you can buy his armor from the goddamn maiden. How's that for a slice of fried gold? Get it? Because his armor's made of gold. At least I can still open the door. Uh, what was that? Oh, it's you again! The man that I cheesed behind the giant doorway! Man, I don't think I'm going to be able to do that again, am I? Ah, uh, dicks. Now I don't even know what I'm looking at. That's even better. There's just a giant fart cloud. That's it, Brett. Go for go for the real comedy gold. Fart jokes. Man, you, you really, you've come a long way from being shit to just being slightly less ridiculously bad at your job. Well done. Really shouldn't throw this control. I've got in the habit of throwing the Wii U controller because it's sturdy as all hell. And as anybody was, would know as an owner of an Xbox 360 or One controller, bollocks to that. They are not sturdy any goddamn more. They have trouble just being squeezed too tightly. Whoever decided to just lower the manufacturing rate of this deserves to be fucking sacked. And no, not the Tom Brady kind of sacked, as in lose your job and fuck supporting your family anymore, you useless cretin. Sacked. I've just realized, aren't you like the religious figure of these individuals? What the hell is sinning in your book if eating a bitch is condoned? I'm worried about this land even more than I was before, and that's back when there were people setting themselves on fire to reunite their kingdoms. I did not parry you. Your weapon was far past the point of hitting me, but hey, I'll take the cheese. I don't care, I like Wensley Dale. That's fine by me. What was that corpse wiggle? <laughs> like he was just frolicking in the field, dancing with the daisies and just trying to catch butterflies. He looked happy. So happiest I've ever seen somebody, and they were dead. You are literally an amalgamation of maggots, aren't you? You pretty much look like what I'd imagine a hunter from Halo does without the armor on. That's disgusting. And it looks like you would have been an imposing enemy, but unfortunately for you, you maggot captured. <laughs> uh, it's funny, except for the part where I missed. Could this be an ambush? <laughs> that could have been better! Is this the real ambush? I'd, I'd say I'm scared, but I think the, pr the proper term would be I'm petrified. <laughs> <laughs> um, why is the mimic completely pitch black? Are you trying to get the role of Riddick? Uh, because <laughs> with that lighting, you're ridiculous. Ah! These jokes need to die more than I do. Do bad at him. Dirty's gonna fire me. Do bad at him. Police and the fireman. Girl said hallelujah. Girl said a hallelujah. Girl said a hallelujah. Cause uptown funk ain't giving it to you. Uptown funk ain't giving it to you. <laughs> Saturday night. Saturday night. Don't my name is just watch. <laughs>